Welcome back to 2022. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and New Year period. Looking forward to getting back into the content again this year. Now today I'm actually answering a call for help. A mate of mine has a really super thick buffalo lawn and it's actually getting to the point now where his mower actually bottoms out when he's mowing it. So it's called in the big guns. We were going to do this renovation before Christmas but at the same time I sort of thought probably best to keep the uh, yard nice and green for Christmas because he does take really good care of it. It's just a situation where on this occasion uh, he's given it all the good stuff for such a long time now. Uh, we've got to sort of beat it back into submission basically. So what we're going to do today is instead of using the Victor Scout mark, because I think it's actually beyond that, I really believe that it's beyond that. We're going to call in the big guns. We're going to go straight to the Scarifier. Now, a lot of people go, you can't scarify buffalo, and it's nothing, or it's not a thing that I actually recommend that you do lightly. It's, it's sort of something as a bit of a last resort, and there's a few little rules that I like to follow to ensure it doesn't end in disaster. So stick around, guys, because today we're gonna attack a really awesome, healthy green buffalo lawn with a scarifier. Right, well, here we are uh, on site now, the lawn in question, and as you can see, it's a really nice patch of green. It's just that, it's just reached a point now where it's just off its head. Um, yeah, it's, it's thick as thick can be. I was playing around off camera and it just goes down and down and down. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's, it's, I still haven't hit the soil yet. So it's, look, it's time to, uh, I guess, beat it into submission. So uh, I'd like to think that Pedro perhaps has uh, packed his doona and pillow for the doghouse because I think once his wife sees the end result and once she sees what's going to happen here, tonight he's going to be in the doghouse. So, uh, yeah, anyway, look, let's meet the man of the moment. Come over here, Pedro. Say hello to everybody. Hello, world. He's all going out there. <laughs> Pretty good. So, have you told Anna that you're likely to be in the doghouse after we do this? Yeah, I'm probably going to have the tissues too, I would say. I reckon. Shed the whole, a tear or two. The street's going to think that you've actually lost your marbles. Yep. Because you've had got probably the best lawn in the street. Oh, by far. By yep. far. Yep, he's, by not far. Shy. he's not shy. He's not shy. I still don't really think Pedro knows what he's in for. Um, that you're about to find out. Yeah, I was sweating up doing the whooper snooping this morning, so. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. <laughs> so he's trimmed around the edges thinking he's gonna make it all look nice, but by the time it's finished, that'll be the greenest part of this lawn. Yeah, it'll be all dirt, I'd say. It will be close to all dirt. You like the Simpson Desert or something, will it? Maybe, oh, if you're lucky. Yeah, right. Right, well, let's hook on, guys. Okay. It's not very often that I'll ever suggest that we scarify buffalo lawn, but in this instance, it's probably gonna be our best way. Now, there's a few rules that you really need to follow, because if you get this wrong, there's gonna be no lawn left. So when we set these things up for height, we've gotta be very certain that we're not actually setting it on ground level or beneath the ground level. We need to keep it above the ground level because we don't want to rip out every single style on here, because that's just gonna end in no lawn left. So crucially, the first pass is a bit of a test pass just to get our height sorted out, make sure we're not overdoing it, make sure we're not underdoing it. As I said, this isn't, the sort of thing that I'd recommend just doing really nearly. Obviously, um, primarily scalping a buffalo lawn is, is, is well and truly preferred than what this method is. But unfortunately, in this situation, uh, I just feel that that's just going to be fruitless and we need to sort of go a little bit deeper because this has been a very well maintained lawn for a very long period of time and it's never had any form of maintenance. So today it's going to be a real culture shock, uh, but it's going to be worth it in the long run and uh, get it looking as good as it is again now, just with less, less thatch. Righto, so we'll just have a little check here, we'll see what it's doing, and straight away, uh, the first thing here that I'm noticing is it's really thinned it out beautifully. Like it's really done a fantastic job. I'll bring that camera in closer to give you guys a better look at this. Right, you can see here that straight away, we're looking, I'm pretty happy with the height of that. Even though we've still got some taller grass here, um, we're still gonna come along obviously with the mower. I'm gonna mow this down. So we're still gonna drop the mower down a little bit lower than usual, um, but we're really setting out we're really achieving what we set out to do, and that is to get rid of all this stuff here. So if you feel that your lawn is in need of this, and it's an extreme measure only, uh, that's what you sort of want to look for before you've given it its, its mo haircut. So we've opened it right up compared to what's over here. I hope that's in frame. Yeah, just. So we've gone from that to that in one pass. 
So we really thinned it out. It's really gonna let some air get back down in here and do all those sorts of things. So once again, that's what we're looking for. And uh, we'll come back and we'll mow this down. Probably only set the mower down at an inch. We're not gonna go super low. We're not trying to um, treat this like a cooch lawn. We've got to treat it like the lawn it is, and that's a buffalo. So we'll cook in and we'll get it done. Right, yeah, so this process is moving along really nicely. All we're doing now is Pedro's running along with the Honda, he's cleaning up all the uh, scarifyings, and then we're still gonna go across again on the lower setting. So we've got the two mowers there, which actually will be an interesting comparison. So um, Pedro's got the American series Honda with the uh, polycarbonate deck. I've got the Buffalo HRU. So when we come to the end of the day, um, Pedro's already said that the collection on this is far better for this sort of work, being the full shoot, doesn't clog up, etc. So it's coming along really nicely. Uh, we still would have probably been two or three rows in had we used the little Victor Scalper because there was a lot of grass here and it was really thick. But uh, this, is, this is where we're heading, so we'll clean all this up now. We'll come along again at the final height. As I said earlier, it won't be super low. Then we're gonna put some fertilizer out. We've got more rain coming in this afternoon. Humidity is about a thousand percent. Pedro's sweating up real good over in the corner. Oh yeah, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> He's, um, so yeah, so we'll just keep cleaning this up and um, yeah, we'll, we'll go a bit lower, but as you can see, we haven't lost a lot of color, not as much as even I thought, but that final mow might change things just a little bit. the video here for a minute because here's an example of two really um, well, a very big name in mowers here we've got the American version which is the HRX 217 and here's my favorite the, um, the HRU 19 the Australian the Australian mower now I think it's going to be really obvious in this time lapse that I'm absolutely blitzing um, what have you found with this one mate I found it struggling like to pick your stuff up and look I've only done a couple of strips yeah he's done to... probably three strips to my half the lawn. Yeah. Um, have you had clogging? It's clogging, um, stalling as well. Stalling. Uh, I'm only taking my time too, I'm not pushing through it, like I'm just letting it go real slow, but getting half a catch or two, so it's clogging up. So, yeah. I'm a fan of Honda products, make no mistake about it, and I've always recommended this particular configuration to people, but these, these American ones have their place as well, and look, to be quite honest, you don't do this sort of work every single day of the week, uh, it might be once a year, but it just goes to show, even though they're both Hondas, there's a huge difference, and I think, uh, for all American viewers watching, I wish you guys could get your hands on one of these. They're not available over there to you guys, but I tell you, you'd be in love with it because they just power through, they collect everything, full shoot, none of this half little mini shoot, solid catcher, and it's proving today. Even this has actually got a slightly smaller motor than this. This is this is the 190, this is the 160, and it's still powering through. So yeah, this thing's struggling. Struggling. Yep. 
Um, so look, I just wanted to stop it there just to have a quick yarn about these two. Great mower for mowing, great all-rounder. So um, yeah. Yeah, and the reason why we're cutting this too, like, because when I'm pushing the lawnmower, the front wheels bite in, then I've got this big half round moon like in my lawn, like a yeah, UFO yeah. circle. So. so it's reached the point before we did this that yeah. Pedro was actually getting bogged and the mower would just stop and spin, spin the wheels. It was just so in. thick. Yep. So that'll be a thing of the past now. Mm. And um, anyway, on with the show. Here we go. So that's come up really, really well. And as you can see here now, we still have plenty of runners left on the surface, of stolons if you want to get technical. It's really important that we don't take all those away. This is not a cooch lawn, uh, and we can't do it that aggressively. Now, um, none of these ones here would have been affected too much by the scarifier. Uh, obviously, when we set that thing, it was still riding on a, on a big layer of thatch. So it doesn't actually get right down to the dirt, and that's not what we're going either way. So happy with how that's all came to be come up really well it's going to make this lawn a lot easier to mow recovery time is going to be a little bit uh, longer than what a coops lawn would be but you're probably looking at about four to five weeks and this will be back as good as gold uh, we're going to put some fertilizer on it now we're going to use a red bull style of fertilizer it's something that's really going to kick it along quickly uh, so yeah we'll hook on hook on hook in hook in whatever you call it and uh, we'll get this last stage done chuck some water on and sit back and wait for the results I'd like to thank Brenton for coming around from the Great Aussie Lawn and a nice bloody bottle of scotch here oh. to drink, mate. Oh, I reckon really appreciate it. It's Great good job, mate. Thank you. Hopefully this, this is This is not what it's all about, but it's <laughs> nice to be appreciated. And I'm sure that'll go well in the old pears and whiskey, or the pears in the whiskey, whatever the, whatever you guys are talking about, you scotch. So really appreciate that, Pedro. No, no um, worries, mate. Now's the time I tell you that this won't actually come back and I have killed your lawn and sucked yep. in, sucked in. And that roundup you put on it too, was it? Yeah, that was yeah. roundup. That's oh, a new granular no. form of roundup. I'm so. gonna start crawling, I think. No, yeah. it'll be prime, mate. <laughs> so we'll, we'll check back in in a couple of weeks' time and um, see yeah. what's happening. But yeah, no, look, really appreciate that, mate. You didn't have to do that. Nah, that's all good, mate. Appreciate um, you done for me over the years, so. Nah, good. that's fine. All right, mate, take it easy. All right, thank you, too, you. Mate, thank you. Right, guys, we'll, look, we'll wrap the video up here. Uh, we're gonna chuck some water on here now. Hoping a storm comes this afternoon just to hose things in a little bit for us. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the episode. We'll catch you here next time on the Aussie Lawn.